Yep, that's her. Raven's Home is back for season five in a familiar location with some brand new co-stars. And just how much hijinks can Raven and her family get into? Well, let's take a look. You seem agitated. Why would I be agitated, huh? Why, because I'm gonna miss my son? Because he's not gonna miss me? Because he wants to go to Chicago, but I want him to stay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the stick. I paid good money for these teeth. Raven, look. If you want Booker to stay, just tell him he has to stay. No, Dad, I, I don't want him to stay because I want him to stay. I want him to stay because he wants to stay. I want him to want to want to stay. What? I don't know. I, I don't know what I can't say it again. <laughs> and Raven joins me now. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Listen, as well. how does it feel to have this character come back 15 years after that, so Raven, and for this to be season five? Yeah, it feels fantastic. Again, I started playing Raven Baxter when I was 15. Yeah. I took a little break, and then Disney Channel, the Disney company, was like, hey, let's do it again. I'm like, yeah. yes. <laughs> and playing a mother of a psychic, uh, twins actually, but on fifth season, it's just him and I that moved to San Francisco to take care of my father who just had a heart attack, played by Rondell Sheridan. Yeah. And we have employed some amazing actors and actresses for this season. Emmy Lou Wang, Alex, I'm sorry, Felix Avita, and Michael Michelle Harris. They are all blessing us with their talent, and it is shenanigans left and right. I tell you, we are doing some things that I thought I would never do again. I imagine it has to feel pretty nostalgic to, like, go back to where it all began in San Francisco and have Rendell Sheridan back. Most definitely, and the most nostalgic part was getting able to talk to the set designer and recreate the original living room and yeah. bedroom and kitchen and, and walking on that feels set. feels so weird, right? So it's PTSD, but like... <laughs> in a know, good way. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you have, you know, fans from different generations, from two different shows. I mean, do you have different people coming up to you and, and, and having different reactions to this show? And Most definitely. I have grandmothers coming up calling me Olivia. I have... Um, people older than me calling me Nicole from Hang With Mr. Cooper, and then yeah. you have That's So Raven, and then you have Raven's Home. So it's really interesting to be able to talk to multiple generations at the yes. same time. And while we're executive producing the show and I direct the show, we always make sure that we are putting forth respect for our audiences yeah. and understanding that we love the character just as much as you do, so we want to make you happy and bringing those nostalgic moments back. Yeah, and familiar faces coming back too, right? Who can we expect? Oh, we have Adrian Bailon on the roster. We have some more people that they just talked to me about that I can't even like totally you tell you. can't even tell us yet. I tell you, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> I just left four hours of prosthetics because Raven Baxter is back to her old antics. Oh so my we're gosh. we're going to have some good times. It seems like you have so much fun doing this show too. I mean, you're all over the place. Climbing over things and I just having a good time. I and I think that's why the audience has a, a good time watching it, too, because when you have fun, we have fun, right? You understand it. That's <laughs> it. It's, it's on the, if it's behind the stage, it's in front of the camera. It's so sure. true. Uh, but a Black Lady uh, Comedy Sketch Show is coming back. Um, you're a guest star on it. How much fun was that? Okay, so I, I, I don't do that much single comedy comedy. What? Comedy comedies. Comedy comedies. I don't do that much <laughs> single camera comedies, but I had the time of my life on this show. Such a great cast, such a powerful set to walk on. Yeah. Just so many women just saying, hey, guess what? We run this. And I was so <laughs> yeah. happy to be a part of it. I also got a neck tattoo, which we'll talk about when you see my episode. <laughs> okay. But I'm very happy to be a part of it. Thanks, ladies. Yeah, you know what? We, we obviously are very familiar with seeing you on camera, but now we're, we get to see you and your wife on TikTok, on YouTube. Who kind of runs that show? Is it you or is she like, let's, no. let's get on the this? The wife runs that one for sure. She <laughs> makes sure that I do a TikTok as many times as she wants to. And um, I'm always there for it. Because of her, I really felt like I could open up and share a little bit of our personal life yeah. together. We also started a YouTube channel called APM where we cook, we talk, we have discussions about everything from female bodies to poop, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, everybody does it. Everybody does it. Let's make it normalized. But yeah, I have a great time with her and we're really focusing on furthering our career together. Yeah, well, I, you know, I love watching you. Uh, in all of the things we mentioned. Uh, but it's so nice to have you here because I feel like this is the first time we got to sit and chat. So thank it you is. so much thank for you. coming. I haven't been here in, for a long time. Yeah, so thank, so thank you for joining us. And new episodes of Raven's Home premiere every Friday at 8 p.m. on Disney Channel. And you can also stream episodes on Disney+. Plus. Thank you so much. Thank you.